What if I told you that Elon Musk could make trillions of dollars by boring one set of tunnels connecting North America to Asia and do it cheap and make life better for everyone in the world? You want to hear more about that? Are you ready? Let's go. You can see the big idea in the yellow line on this globe here. You can see a line going from Los Angeles up the west coast of North America through Alaska through the Bering Strait. The Bering Strait is a thin passage of water separating Russia and Alaska. It is only 83 kilometers wide and has a max depth of only 50 meters. Down into China, reaching Beijing up at the top of the globe. I call it Boring Bering. It's not a new idea. In 1892, when American structural engineer Joseph Strauss created the first bridge proposal. There have been bridge proposals and tunnel proposals dating back over a hundred years. Here's another one. 1904, a group of American railroad magnates introduced the first tunnel design. These ideas keep popping up and they keep not happening. Here's a recent one from Russia. In 2007, Russia proposed the TKM link a 6,000 kilometer long rail and oil link. It would include a 103 kilometer long tunnel across the Bering Strait. It would have two rail tubes for both freight and high-speed passenger traffic, along with a central service tube. This tunnel was estimated to cost 10 to 12 billion US dollars, with a larger project costing 65 billion dollars. It would take around 12 years to construct. This is getting pretty close to where I think Elon Musk is going to head. But first, I'd like to thank the Vasa Law Firm in Sweden and all my Patreon supporters for helping this channel grow. Patreon supporters get early access to some of my videos. They get access to my spreadsheets for my models. They get t-shirt discounts and they get a better access to me for conversation about what's going on with Tesla, SpaceX, the boring company Neuralink and other technology topics and anything else. Now, let's hear about this other idea from China that might even be closer. In 2014, Chinese transportation experts announced their own 21st century concept. They proposed a 10,000 kilometer long high-speed rail line connecting northeast China to the United States with a tunnel across the Bering Strait. This project would cost an estimated $105 billion. Both that $105 billion price tag and the 6,200 miles both stand out to me as very close to where I think Elon Musk is going. But it's not just one tunnel, and it's not something that involves rail. Plain and simple, it's four tunnels going up the west coast of North America, through the Bering Strait, down through Russia into China. Two tunnels for freight, and two tunnels for Hyperloop. This will solve a lot of problems. This is going to eliminate all Pacific container shipping. This is going to eliminate all Pacific air travel. It's going to save ridiculous amounts of money, make life better for anybody transporting goods or traveling from one continent to the other, massively reduce pollution, be safer, faster, cheaper, and cleaner, and not sensitive to weather. This is an absolute game changer, and it's only going to cost $100 billion and do so much more than any of these other projects are talking about. The bigger idea in terms of environmental impact is shipping. You can see here from the Boring Company website, they have this idea of carrying shipping containers in Boring Company tunnels. These are the exact same shipping containers that are carried on container ships across the Pacific Ocean. You can see it a little clearer in this image. That's a shipping container. It's on a platform. If you look really close at some of the images they use, the, the wheels are at a diagonal. This barely fits inside the standard Boring Company tunnel, but it does fit. And this would allow for shipping containers to come from China to North America and back without having to ride on ships. This would be much more efficient. It would be faster. Ships go very slow. These could go 100 miles an hour or more in the tunnel. It's cleaner because it's running on electricity. They're not using bunker fuel, this terrible fuel that has terrible emissions from shipping. It's not dependent on weather. Doesn't matter what the weather is up above. The tunnel is going to be the same and you'll be able to deliver huge volumes and save the oceans from all these ships crossing, save the air from all the pollution that comes out of them, and handle a huge volume and be much more efficient than the way it's done now. There's a lot of evidence that shipping has massive environmental impacts. It impacts human health. You can see here a Wikipedia page on health impacts, still estimated to account for around 250,000 deaths a year, and around 6.4 million childhood asthma cases a year. That's not good. 
In the future, shipping may represent 10% of global greenhouse gas emissions. They, use, they emit black carbon, which is a particularly bad impact. Some estimates say that shipping emits 18% of all air pollutants in the world. When you get to fun numbers, container ships emit more greenhouse gas emissions than some small countries, and that one ship may have as much greenhouse gas emissions as 50 million cars. Not good. In those past stories, when people talked about bridges or tunnels across the Bering Strait, they really saw the benefits, but they massively underestimated what Elon Musk is going to be able to do with the same idea. Look at what they said about the Russia tunnel. You could ride by train from San Francisco to Beijing in a day and a half. A day and a half? Elon's going to do that in a supersonic hyperloop in like six hours. The tunnel would provide a safer, cheaper, and faster way to transport freight between Asia and North America. Cargo would be able to travel from Shanghai to Chicago four times faster than by ship. This is a massive underestimate of the speed benefit. Number one for the ships, there's this whole process of loading and unloading in ports that takes forever because you're stacking these containers so high. You've got these crowded ports where everything has to go. With boring company cargo tunnels, you're just going to drop it into the cargo tunnel. It's going to go. And once it gets to North America, it's going to divert to whatever tunnel is going to take us to its final destination. You're going to save. It's going to be at least five times faster than the speed of the boat going across the ocean. And then once it gets to its destination or as it's coming from where it's coming from, that process is going to be smoother too. You're probably talking about 10x. It's going to be 10 times faster than what happens when you put it on a ship. An important thing to talk about here is this idea as I see it, is Elon Musk does the whole thing with tunnels. A lot of these other proposals involve rail getting to the Bering Strait or a bridge going across the Bering Strait. And these have huge problems with weather and other issues that tunnels solve if you do tunnels the whole way. In addition, the land around the strait is permafrost. If rail tracks were laid on it and the permafrost then thawed, the tracks would sink and be damaged. Thin sheets of floating ice. These flows could produce forces up to 44 mega newtons on a bridge pier. This would be a major structural challenge. Due to the weather conditions, the bridge's highway would have to be closed for much of the year. The rail gauge problem is a particular issue that using trains just really makes this not work. This is why you really need to do tunnels the whole way. The US and Russia use different rail gauges. This would cause major logistics issues forcing all goods to be transferred between trains. The Boring Company can do this with tunnels for about the same cost as the projects that have been proposed by the Russians and the Chinese. About $100 billion, and it'll do a lot more. Two tunnels for containers. Two tunnels for Hyperloop. That's a total of four tunnels. Figure 6,000 miles each tunnel. You've got 24,000 miles of tunnel. I believe the Boring Company has already got their costs down to about $5 million a mile. And as they improve, they're going to get this cost down to around $4 million a mile. $4 million times 24,000 miles of tunnel works out to $96 billion. So for just under $100 billion, Elon Musk would be able to deliver this tunnel system reaching from Los Angeles all the way to Shanghai with four tunnels. You want two tunnels each way so you can have a continuous stream of containers coming one way and a continuous stream of containers going back the other way so your Hyperloop trains don't have any risk of ever hitting each other so that they can continue on their trips without having to worry about anything. It's just a much simpler thing. And $100 billion sounds like a lot of money, but for all this is going to accomplish, it's going to do so much more. It's worth it. Now, a couple of quick thoughts before we move on. Some people talk about crossing the Atlantic by going from Canada through Greenland and Iceland over to the UK or Sweden. It really doesn't work. It's too distant underwater. The distance underwater is too far between Greenland, Iceland, especially from Iceland to the UK. Something that's really promising is once you get across the Bering Strait, as you're heading down towards China, you can extend a separate tunnel or set of tunnels going over to Northern Europe. And similarly, the tunnel system could be extended down to Southeast Asia, Australia, and India, reaching much of the world's population. I talked about the environmental impact of shipping before. The environmental impact of commercial aviation is also really important. Both they release a lot of emissions, and to some extent it's important that they release their emissions higher in the atmosphere where they may cause more damage. The Hyperloop tunnels help solve this problem. They make transportation faster. You don't have to worry about weather when you're in a tunnel. When a bad storm can knock out an airplane, it's not going to be a problem for a Hyperloop in the tunnel. 
Hyperloop is going to be faster than the speed of sound. It will be faster than commercial aviation. You will be able to get from Los Angeles to Shanghai or Beijing quicker than if you got on a plane. This is a big deal. The future is coming at us fast, faster than the speed of sound, thanks to Elon Musk and others like him. It's going to make the world a much better place. It's going to save us money. It's going to save us time. It's going to keep our environment cleaner. Fantastic stuff coming. If you like this video, please check out my other videos. Check out the t-shirts. Link to the t-shirts in the description below. Support this channel on Patreon. Link below. Check out my book, Fair DUI. Link to that below. And thank you so much for watching.